What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Smartphone World. Today I'm going to talk a lot about the Galaxy S4. It probably won't be that long of an episode, but I'm going to be talking primarily about the Galaxy S4 here. Uh, first I want to open up with a little iPhone chat. I have a couple of questions for some iPhone fans out there. I've been getting a lot of comments on previous videos <laughs> with them just saying straight up, Oh, the iPhone 5 is the best phone in the world! with no proof whatsoever, especially after I point out all the, you know, not so great points about Apple's iOS 6 or the iPhone 5's design, its small 4-inch display, I really would like some actual proof that it's better. We already know that the casing is fragile. It dents, it dents scratches, it bends, it's very fragile. The display is very good. The glass in front of it, I mean, it's very durable for dropping, but then the rest of the smartphone stinks. Uh, the specs on the inside, 1.2, 1.3 gigahertz dual core processor, with one gig RAM. When we have the Galaxy S4 with its eight core processor and four of those cores are 1.2, two gigs of RAM. I really would like to see, I mean, what are your widgets? Give me some pictures. Send me something. I have a Facebook fan page. If you want to talk about this, go to my Facebook fan page. The link is right under the video for questions and answers. I am all over that page all the time, and I answer all my fans' questions. So go there. I'd like to see some of your pictures of what your screens look like compared to what I can do with Android smartphones you know with widgets and change it up and personalize it how about NFC technology where is that in your iPhone 5 you don't have that near field communications it is the future in smartphones it's going to be in a lot of smartphones for a lot of reasons why is it in the iPhone these are just some of the questions that I have I mean can you just answer some of those please then we can get to the bottom of all of this now let's talk about the Galaxy S4 and the benchmark tests. You see that? This benchmark is with the Snapdragon processor, the Snapdragon 600 processor. It's a 1.9 gigahertz quad core. Do you see that score? Look at it, 3163. What is the iPhone 5? 15, 1596. That's half. Look! I'm not making this stuff up. The HTC One has the same processor. It says 1.7 gigahertz quad core. Guys, you have to understand the operating systems, HTC Sense and TouchWiz, will allow the chipsets to run at different levels. Obviously, Snaps, uh, the Samsung Galaxy S4 runs at 1.9 and the HTC One runs at 1.7. Doesn't mean it's a slow phone. Obviously, it's not. 2687. It beats out the Nexus 4, the Galaxy S3, the iPhone 5, all of them. The only one that's beating it is the Galaxy S4. So those two are the, you know, the winners right there. Please give me some arguments about why the iPhone 5 is so low on the totem. Okay. And here's a little bit other news. You see that? That's from 2011-2012. Yeah. That shows Samsung leading the polls in 2012 by almost 30% of the market share. And where's Apple? At 10%. Guys, I, I hate to make this show about, you know, Apple versus everybody else, but it's actually the fans that are doing it. I want to talk about other stuff, but you guys, I, I mean, dead set against even trying an Android smartphone. Just go try it. That's all I'm saying. Not an old smartphone. You're using an iPhone 5? Get the latest Android smartphones. The HTC One, the Galaxy S4. Try them out. Now, if you're interested in getting the Galaxy S4 all over the world, and you want to know which one you're getting, because there is two versions, let me, guys, let me tell you guys what you're getting in your parts of the world. Okay, well, in Canada and the United States, they are getting the 9505 version. The 9505 version is the Snapdragon chipset. The Snapdragon chipset is going to be the LTE version. For some reason, they're saying that 
the 9500, which is the 5 Octa version, will not have LTE capabilities. That makes absolutely zero sense to me. But in Canada and the United States, you're getting the LTE version, then 9505, the Snapdragon version. In Africa, no LTE, but you're getting the 5 Octa. So you're, you guys are getting the 9500. In the Middle East, every single country over there, they're all, not one of them is getting the LTE one, except Philippines and Saudi Arabia, and, uh, well, the Philippines is in Asia, Hong Kong is in Asia, and parts of India. They will be getting the LTE chip, but most of the other countries are just going to be getting the regular version. Australia, LTE power, guys. How do you like that? I don't have any release dates. I mean, in Russia, it's supposed to be releasing in, on April 26th. They're not getting the LTE version. It's supposed to be 30,000 rubles, which translates to about $970. That's a little high. In, uh, let's say, Europe. Okay, well, pretty much every single country is getting the LTE version. Except for the fact that they're also going to have floating around the non-LTE version. So make sure you keep your eyes open in France, Germany, Italy, Poland, Romania, and in the UK. If you're looking for the LTE version for quicker speeds, for downloads and stuff like that, make sure you're getting the 9505, the LTE, the Snapdragon 600. If you're looking for the 5 Octa with that amazing speed, then you'll be, you know, trying to get the 9500, which will be available in those countries. But all the other countries that I did not mention in Europe, Austria, Baltic, Belgium, Bosnia, Bulgaria, Cyprus, Czech Republic, Greece, Macedonia, Portugal, Slovakia, Slovenia, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, the Netherlands, except for the Ukraine, all of them are getting the LTE version. The Ukraine, the only one not getting the LTE version in your entire country. I'm sorry, guys. I know it's bad news. I know everybody wants LTE power, LTE speed. But remember, if you're getting the 5 Octa, you saw that benchmark. That's insane. All right, well, that was another episode of Smartphone World. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me some comments. Remember, visit my Facebook fan page. We have a lot of questions going on over there, discussions. Please get involved. I also have a Google Plus community, Smartphone World. Check it out. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.